everybody, this is Callie with Gemmins. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing a very special soap. So along with the 52 week uh, bath bomb challenge, I decided that I wanted to come out with a brand new soap every month for the next 12 months and then maybe throw in one or two here and there. So each month there will be a brand new soap along with the soaps that we already have up on the website uh, coming out. So today we are focusing on men. So attention men, and I know men and soap, a lot of guys aren't really particular about their soap, but I have one particular scent that everybody went completely nuts over um, during the holiday uh, selling season, uh, Bay Rum. So Bay Rum, this is for you guys. Uh, it's my number one seller in my men's line. I, in fact, if I have Bay Rum, they'll the men will ignore everything else, literally. I don't know if it's just the area that I live in or what it is, but um, all of my men's soap is completely sold out. So <clears throat> I was making individual bars for the men because it's easy for me to just make a couple up every time. And I found that I was selling them out almost immediately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a full long bar and that'll give us, give me more soaps over the next several months as I start up the new um, selling season for this year. And so I thought, Hey, let's start off the new year with, for the men, cause men, I'm sorry, but so many of the soaps are out there are so much for women that I really wanted to do the hemp seed oil soap for you guys. So Bay Rum is the first one in a series of a, a lot of soaps that I, that I do have available. Um, I have a woodland type scent. I have some tobacco and caramel. Um, those aren't made yet, but they're coming online. And then just a whole bunch of other ones, maybe a musk and a couple others, but um, oak wood and, or oak, oak wood and moss will be, or oak wood and sandalwood. Oak moss and sandalwood, I think is the name of it. I don't have it in front of me, otherwise I'd pull it up. But that's another one that will be coming out. It was somewhat popular. Um, the soap sold out really well, but not as much as the Bay Rum. So I'm going with a full bar of the Bay Rum, and it will be available in my store permanently. It's not going to go anywhere. It's got hemp seed oil and silk in it, so it's perfect for men. Uh, and there you go. So let's get to it and get this made. So I've already got everything tempered down to temperature. The oils and the lye are all at temperature. We have some really beautiful colors. Um, today we're using a copper and then we're going to light it up with a little bit of gold. Men, you guys are gold. So we're going to do a, a these, these two colors specifically and then I'll do a white swirl in it to kind of lighten it up a little bit so it's not so dark. But all right. So here we go. Uh, let me see. Just trying to put those so they don't get knocked over. And then I already have the the Bay Rom scent ready to go. So let's get our gloves on. Um, I am going to attempt to wear gloves again today. I keep breaking out with these gloves, even though they're non-latex and they're supposed to be super for super sensitive skin. But my skin is still sensitive enough that I'm breaking out with it. So, um, But we're going to wear this today. Because I feel it's important. Now, I'm not going to put any eye cover on or anything. I'm really super... Um, careful with what I do here. Bring my. We're gonna put it in this big bowl here. I'll turn this down here in just a second. Just trying to get this down. Okay, so I'm hoping you guys can see in the bucket. Oh yeah, you guys can. All right, so we're gonna put the lye, which is right here, into the oils. In the oils, we have coconut oil, olive oil, um, castor oil, hemp seed oil, mango, and. Um, shea butter so this is a really moisturizing nourishing bar and i've had some women ask about the bay rum also because they really like it and this this is a men women's bar but i'm making this specifically for men so let's get going so we're going to pour this in here the silk is already pre placed in the uh, live water and that's if you're going to use silk in your soaps that's the way you want to do it so we're just going to pour this in very carefully because we don't want to spill it don't want any accidents. I'm not going to scrape that. It seems like it has a little bit of a sheen on it. So we're going to put that in our go bucket, my go bucket to put it away. And we're going to mix this up really good. We're going to mix this up really good. Get all that goodness in the skin. Careful not to over mix, but just mix it up Mix it enough to where the oils are all incorporated, and it really doesn't take that long. I think we're good there. All right, so 
that didn't take very long. I'm just going to get that out of the way. All right. So as you can see, when I pull this up, it's nice and smooth. Hopefully this won't. I have worked with Bay Rum in the past, like I said, and it doesn't seize up. Actually, it works really beautiful in the soaps. So for those that should really use a little one, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to pop that over there and get that out of the way. Oh, look at that soap. It's beautiful. I've always had really good luck with my oil. So now we're going to pour the fragrance oil in it. And Bay Rum does have a little bit of vanilla in it, so we made sure that we put some vanilla stabilizer in it to keep that vanilla from turning brown. Although, because this is a men's soap, if it turns a little bit brown, I'm not that upset about it. Mmm. Not smelling it as well, but that's okay. All right. So I have a lot of workability with the soap right now, so we're going to put that in there for now, and we're going to break this down into three. All right, so the first one we're going to pour into is going to be the little one because I want a little bit of a white streak in it. Okay. And I'm going to get that mixed in here along with my little whisk, wherever it went to. There it goes. Now, normally you would want to pre-mix this, but I don't have that availability at the moment because I forgot to pre-mix it with some oil. It'll just lighten this up just a little bit. It's going to have a little bit of a green tint, and, and as you can see, there's a lot of green in there. But we'll just mix this up really, really good and let that sit for a minute, and then I'm going to add some to this too. And we are going to mix this up really, really good. Oh, that was the kale and clay <laughs> that I just added in. That's good. We wanted kale and clay in here, so that's good. I love kale and clay in my stuff. So let's see if we can grab this and get the right coloring in here. And this seems like a lot, and it, it really is, but I want this to be really, really light colored. We're going to mix this in really, really good. Like I said, this soap does not... Make sure that all gets in there really good. And all I'm doing is making sure that there's no clumps in here and that this white really does turn white when it, when it goes through its process. All right, now let's split this down into the two bowls that we want because we want a gold stripe and we want the base to be um, the, the copper red, which is really pretty. You'll see it here in a minute when we do this. Is that working? May not turn as white as I want it to, but that's okay. With olive oil and hemp seed oil, you have two really dark colors in it, so it's really hard to separate them out. All right, so we're gonna do that. Oops. Okay, so that's good. And in this one, we're gonna put the gold, so this will be fun to put in here. So let's put some gold in there. Let's make it really, really gold. Let's make it really gold. Look at that pretty gold in there. That's going to look really nice. And this does have a little bit of shimmer, but I promise, guys, I'm not going to put anything on the top. recipe on my soap a little bit better to make it more fluid and I'm actually liking this new recipe oh look at that it's starting to go that lighter color hopefully that'll turn out to be a really pretty gold all right so the rest of this is going to be the bay rum color so we're going to use copper for that and I'm just going to dump some of this in because I want it to be a real dark co copper color should be enough um where is my other whisk 
in there. All right, so we'll just use this one because there's no color in this one. It's just white. Or the lighter grain. All right. This one, I like the copper in the Bay Run because it's so nice and pretty when it, it's a beautiful color. I don't know if you can see that in there. I'll try and pull it over. Okay, I do have my mold ready to go. I'm almost afraid that this doesn't have enough scent to it. Okay, I think that's fixed up enough. Put that in there. And we're going to pour this just directly into the mold. Just like that. All right, so now I'm going to scrape this. I actually need a bigger scrape. Get the rest of this goodness of soap out. I don't like to waste soap. And, it, and by doing this, by scraping all this out, it really does help get... You can't see what I'm doing here, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I didn't pull this over enough for you guys. But it's kind of off to the side here. I'll pull it over so you guys can see that color. Now, as this as this um, turns into its soap and it saponifies completely, you're going to see a big change in the color. So it's going to be really nice. My fear right now is that I didn't put enough scent in there because it seems like it's a little bit on the light side. All right, so let's do that. off okay yeah see that's turning into a really pretty gold I don't know if you can see that or not but that's gorgeous I'm gonna sit and mix this for a minute and really get it incorporated in together got lots of time on this soap so it doesn't like it's not like I have to have it all the way done all right so then we're just gonna pour this right down the center here back and forth and we'll save a little bit for the top. It's okay if it drips. Yeah, it's just enough for the topping, and that's what I want. All right, so now this one, we're just going to pour right on the top here. We're not going to do a whole lot. It's a kind of a yellow streak, and that's okay. And that filled that up really well. So we're just going to let that sit for a few minutes, because what I want to do is I need to build this up. And it's not quite ready to do that. So we're going to let this sit for a few minutes. And then we'll come back and I will um, finish it off for you guys. So I'm just going to let this sit for a minute. It's, it's so pretty. Let's see if we can do the... I'll twirl it here. Twirls may not come out on this one. It doesn't look like it's... mold got pretty well filled so we'll just put that in there for now yeah it's going to be about 10 minutes before I can really do this so we will come back to it in just a minute all right so let's do our swirls here I'm gonna get to flip itself over here Everybody thinks that, you know, just plain bars are perfect for the guys. But you know what, guys? I know you guys like a little bit of decoration. So we're just going to do a little bit of fun here. All right. So we're going to set that up just like that. Put that off on the side there. I'll put that in there. And we're going to pop this down on my cart. I can wash that off. It's not a big deal. And we're going to just plop this down on the center here. Oh, that looks really good. 
do a little more down here. Just get the rest of this off. It's okay if it seeps down. We're going to go back the other way now. So need a new spatula. All right, I think we're gonna get all that out of there that we can. All right, so now let's take the white, but I'm gonna use another spatula for that. Oh, got one right here. And we're just gonna spoon this one on top. Mix it up just a little bit. This is soap is working so well. Okay, so now we're going to just pop this in the center here. It's okay if it drapes down. That's what I want. Ooh, well, not that much. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm going to do something here, so <laughs> it will bring that back up. All right, well, it's all right if it drapes down. It's going to do it. Sometimes, you know, when the best laid plans when you make soap doesn't work out the way you want it to but that's okay we're we're gonna roll with it as they say <laughs> all right so let's do where's my spoon at so we're gonna try and oh this just isn't gonna work it's just gonna keep falling on the side so let's see if we can just bring all the colors around here not what i wanted but sometimes it happens Kind of like this actually. It's kind of pretty. I'll just bring it all the way over. There we go. Okay, get that out of the way here. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna swirl it. Since this just collapsed down, we're just gonna do a really cool swirl on the top here. Nothing fancy, just something for the guys. And this kind of collapsed it down in there, but you know what? I kind of like that. It's kind of cool looking. Do a little swirl here so it kind of matches up. All right, there you go. There is our soap. I'll clean this all up here. Where's my paper towels up? Reach over and grab the paper towels and wipe the edges off. This soap will set for about 24 hours and then I will cut it. Spillage, spillage, spillage everywhere here, it looks like. But that's normal with soaps. Clean up. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we'll just leave that there. I don't care about that. Get another one. There's lots of paper towels in here. We can clean it up. No problem. There, that looks better. Alright, like I said, this soap will sit for about 24 hours and then we will cut it. You know, I mess there. Anything on the side, we'll get that cleaned up. Ooh, that was pretty nasty. Let's just wipe it one more time just to make sure we got it all up. All right, there we go. There is our new men's soap. And let me pick it up and I'll bring it up to you guys. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? No flowers, nothing special on the top. No glitter, guys. So there's nothing wrong with that. But that is our... Bay rum, and I don't know about you, but oh my gosh, it smells so wonderful in here. And we will cut this bar tomorrow, so we're just gonna let it sit here, let it do its thing, and we'll see you all tomorrow. All right, thanks everybody for watching this portion of our new soap. Come back and we'll finish it up tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Hello, everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the next day, and we are gonna cut our uh, bay rum soap Houston we have a problem I went to pull the soap out of the mold and it is so soft that it hasn't completely solidified enough for me to be able to properly cut it so I think we're gonna try and cut it anyway and let it dry out for some reason it's not the the speed of its drying is not where it should be um, cause it's been over 24 hours since I have made this soap and, and I've never had a soap this soft. So I'm not quite sure what the problem is or what the issue is, but the soap should be okay. 
we're just going to cut it a little differently instead of cutting it into in my large bar we're going to cut it individually i'm going to set it on my counter and we're going to let it sit for about three days so i won't be able to do any projects which really sucks because i have a whole bunch of soaps i'm trying to get ready for um february 4th it's not going to happen <laughs> i'm just gonna have to do what i can and take with me what i what i can so anyway so we're going to cut this soap but we're going to cut it individually and it's really really soft which i don't know why in all the years that i've been making soap why this would do this but it did so we're gonna we're gonna cut it so let me turn this down and i'll show you what we have and there you go there's our cutting oops maybe i can cut it down just a little bit further okay there we go and then this is the soap i'm gonna be really really careful with it um, cause it is super on the soft side. In fact, well, I was going to try and do that, but I don't think I will. And even on the top, it kind of flattened itself out. So we're going to see what we can do here. Uh, I'm not going to cut the end. I'm going to leave that alone. And we're going to see how this one turned out. Oh, actually look at that. That turned out really good. Now, if we can just get it to dry properly, uh, we'll be fine. I'm going to back this up just a little bit. Oops. Can't do that. I'm going to dump. I'm moving something away. You can't see behind, but I have these bottles that are open because I had another project I was going to film today, but I can't. So let's get another cut in there. That turned out actually really pretty. Gentlemen, you're going to love this soap. All right, let me get that off of there. So we're just going to cut another slice. Is this thick? This seems really thick. Let me try and find one of my other soaps, which I don't have in front of me. So we're just gonna keep going. I think this is a little bit too thick to cut these, but that's okay. All right, so let's grab another one. Oh yeah, they actually turned out really pretty. That gold comes out really nicely. It's just that they're super soft. So um, two, pull that in. Oh, the smell is phenomenal. It it actually turned out really well. I'm I'm happy with what happened. Um, let me. This is a little on the crooked side for some reason. So we're just going to straighten that out. I could have done it when I did this other. So we're just going to pop this over. It's actually cutting really nice, which is okay. Yeah, there's another one. So really pretty. That uh, it, the camera does not do it justice in truth. Um, the colors are kind of like a. Um, a reddish gold and then you have this gold on top of it which is really beautiful and the scent is really really nice so it's just a little bit softer than I normally like to cut but it's actually doing really well there's six bars when I'm done I should have 13 so I think this is not quite 13 I think it's more gonna be like 10 but that's okay all right and what I'll do is I will let ju this just sit I'll show you another. There's another one. So they turned out really well. I'm I, I'm happy with the bars themselves. They're really be it's a beautiful soap. And that's what I was hoping for. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think I'll get maybe eleven or twelve bars out of this. So that's a good one. I usually get thirteen or or um, but I didn't cut any ends off this time, so we'll see what we get here. Oops, I don't want to come back up on that. And they're cutting really nicely, too. So I'm kind of... Okay, so let's just shim a little bit off. Not much. Just to kind of straighten that up. And then I'll do the uh, same on the other side. But, um, yeah, those turned out really well. So I have 9, 10, 11, 12. So I got 12 bars out of it, which is what I generally get. And all I'm going to do is turn this around a little bit. And just kind of straighten up this back. Maybe not. I was going to kind of cut the back off just a little bit. Let's see if we can do that here. I just want a little shiver off. I don't just like a little sliver of it just to kind of balance that back a little bit. Let's push it in a little bit more. And we'll balance it off right there. Just a little bit. It's not a lot. It's just a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right. So they are soft, so I'll have to be really, really careful with it. But they turned out really good. I'm really happy with the bars. 
and they're soft enough I can sit and I can mold these back a little bit. All right, so there you go, you guys. There's the soaps. Mm, that does smell like bay rum. So that soap turned out a little bit rough, but I think we're going to be okay with it. I'll clean my mat and stuff up and clean my gloves and stuff in a minute here. So I'll just turn these inside out and get them out. So here, there is the soaps right there, all good, all ready to go. So gentlemen, we have your bay rum soaps. I was a little worried when I pulled it out, but it's okay. It'll be fine. I'll let these sit here for a couple of days, maybe even by tonight now that they're out of the mold. Um, and maybe they'll solidify up a little bit faster now that they're out of the mold and I cut them. So we'll give that a try. Anyway, there you go, everybody. Bay Rum available now uh, on the website. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to... Um, uh, leave a comment don't forget to hit the notification button and by all means don't forget to leave a comment and and go out and go to the website and get these products uh, they are available at the time of this filming so um there you have it and this is the january soap of the month and bay rum thanks everybody have a great day i wish you all the best bye